So did you figure out, are they thumbprint locks? Uh, they're, um, I, I don't know if you call them thumbprint locks, but like they rec they recognize like hand gestures. I don't know how they how to describe it. <laughs> like whenever you get close to it, it will unlock the door. Hmm. Or but only if the key is in your presence. Like oh, you know what I mean? Okay. Like like you couldn't just walk up to it and unlock it. Okay. But if I've got the key with me, when my hand gets near that, it will unlock something like that. I guess I'm describing it the right way. This car has a lot of things on it that I, I'm like, okay, then what does this do? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to take me a little bit. <laughs> Last night, I, Darlette and I met, and we ended up going to, um, well, we were meeting at Cheddar's, and I hadn't told her I got the car because I wanted it to be a surprise. Yeah. And then when she pulled up, of course, she was like, oh, no, we got to go somewhere else because we got to go driving. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up driving all the way. Oh, I should have went the other way. Well, I can just go right here. Uh, and we went to Matamoros. Matamoros, I guess, over off I-10. I think that's what it's called. So we drove way over there. But um, so then we were sitting in the car, and I was like, open up the thing, and I didn't know how to close it. <laughs> and it was dark, and I couldn't see, and I was like. Oh my God, how many different ways can you close it? Like, I mean, you know what I mean? Like I was like, normally you just push. Yeah. You know, <laughs> why do I have to have five gadgets to operate one thing? Like I, I was like, everything I was pushing, it was doing something different. And I was like, oh my God, I just want to close it. <laughs> it was funny. I had to get my cell phone and hold the light up. <laughs> I was like, Lord help me. I'll get there, I guess though. So. Okay, but you know the main thing I want to know. What's that? Okay, how come they sold it to you? Well, because when I called on Monday, yeah, Monday, mm -hmm. I, I um, I called like their district office thing, uh -huh. whatever. Yeah. But um, and so I got this lady, and she was like, "Well, the, there's gonna be a, the the like the Live Oak DM, like he's in charge of Live Oak, and I don't know several other territorial areas." And so she's like, "He's gonna be at the Live Oak office on." today like he's supposed to be there all day today till six so she made me an appointment to see him at 5 30 and um so i went in and i told him i i just point blank told him the whole story and he was like you know apologetic the lady on the phone was super nice and super apologetic i mean she was very and she even said like in talking to you i can tell like like that you like your personality like I can tell and I and I told her, I said you know I'm I'm not trying to get something for nothing but I do expect to be compensated in some form you know and and you know and I didn't appreciate the way they treated me and so then she was like you know I'm gonna get you with the DM and so then when I got there and he, he was like let me visit with the, the two managers that um, were here on Saturday and so for probably about 20 minutes he was with them and then he came back and he was like like right. that's not my intentions I'm not trying to rip anybody off I, can I go I can turn it on the side over there can I where home goods is not home goods home at home but go here and turn I don't have to say right, you got me I don't know I think I can oh yeah I can. You know what I'm thinking about yeah I'm thinking you were going that way and you're just going right here yeah yeah you can just turn Right there by that urban yeah. thingy. You could have just drove straight <laughs> up the street you were on. I sure could have, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, now I know. I don't have my cell phone. Can you believe that? No. Uh, you know what? I don't either. <laughs> I used it because I was like, oh, well, I'll, tell, I'll use Terry's and text James and say, if you try to call me, I don't have my phone. But I will be home before four, like I said, like because he's gonna, he wants to go. I don't know to Austin or something. I don't know to go out and sit by the water. He's like, let's take your car for a drive. Yeah, of course he wants to take your car for a drive. <laughs> he's like, I haven't gotten a ride in it yet. Really, he rode to church Wednesday night, and that was it. So I was like, okay. 
I don't mind taking it for a drive. I'm still trying to get used to it, so. All these darn beeping noise. You should have seen me when I drove up to the drive through the other day at Sonic. Mm -hmm. I, I laughed. I said I was those people that when you see them in the big trucks and they can't drive, <laughs> backing up, pulling up. Because it beeps and it scares me. So I think I'm getting ready to hit the curb. And so I'm, and then I'm like way out here. I'm like, okay, I got to figure this out. Like to judge when it starts beeping, like how close I really am. Yeah. <laughs> it was hilarious. And of course, then I looked around. Anybody looking at me? Because, you know, I mean, don't you do it? I mean, you know, like, when you're like, you don't have to drive that thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I like it a lot. I do have the remote start. My keys aren't working for the remote start. Um, they think it's because they sat for a while. Uh -huh. And, like, they, they deprogram them. Like, they, 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 they will deprogram so Tuesday, well Monday I'm gonna drop my car off over there, get a loan a car, and then Tuesday the key fob guy comes, and but he has to have the car and the keys because he's gotta reprogram them so that my car will auto start. But I have an app on my phone. To start your car. To start my car. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't that cool? <laughs> like, where has technology gone? You know what I mean? Like, like that, I was just like, I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> I was like, okay, now I've heard of everything. An app to start my car. Yeah. Well, I'm glad they had to give you money. So am I. And I haven't figured out this door situation. I think it's some kind of safety. This, because this, you know, this, I did, which I, I kind of knew that Volvos were considered like, you know, family cars and yeah. safety cars, but it's got a lot of safety features on it. And I think the door won't open if, until after the car has, if the car is like, like in any kind of motion with the lock on, like, until, I, I haven't figured it out, but I know like sometimes when I go to get out of the car, I can't get out of the car. You always have your foot off the brake. And I think I have to have my foot off the brake for it to open. I'm trying to figure it out, but I'm not sure. But I wanted to run in here, because this is going to sound really stupid. But I might end up going over to Walmart, but they, I'm sure they probably still don't have that pillow anymore. Remember the elephant pillow that we saw? Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's a pretty pillow. Well, I was kind of wanting a pillow just to set in the back seat of my car. Like just a little small pillow. Cause, you know, I'm always vlogging and I wanted something for scenery wise and I thought well they have lots of pillows in here <laughs> so I was like I'm gonna go in here today and look for a pillow <laughs> for my car I know that sounds silly but I'm a, I haven't been in here in so long is it this way oh god here comes the music I knew they were gonna have it on I'm like trying to see my pillow in the camera. <laughs> of course. That's gonna be a new ordeal, is figuring out the camera situation. Yeah. Because look how the dashboard is. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, I shared, the, I, I posted the video earlier of showing me when I got it, when I picked it up and all that. And, of course, I was explaining to them that I don't know what I'm going to do with the camera situation, but I'll figure it out. It's like, I just need, like, there we go. Oh, let's turn this off. Hey, darn it. Oh. My eye, is this the itching? Your hair looks like it's gotten longer. It is longer. Oh. You know, you make me sick. Cause you don't care about your hair. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, and your hair grows instantly. And my hair grows like crazy, yes. And you could care less about having hair. I mean, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> well, I care about having hair. It's just that my hair is unruly <laughs> and I hate it. I mean, but you'll whack it off in a heartbeat just because. <laughs> like, it's exactly. you bad. <laughs> and then the next day you have hair again. Like, I whack my hair off and it'll be 10 years before I get an inch. I tolerate. <laughs> I'm like, you just whacked all your hair off. And look at you. 
was uh, the curtain that did that, that to me. I had her blow it straight. <laughs> but it looks fuller, well, don't I you got, think? I got, yeah, it does. And it, it acts fuller because of the perm. Yeah. But I had her blow it straight, so. Okay, I have a tissue, do you? Um, what the heck's going on? There was a truck going behind you. See, those are the kind of things that freak me out. <laughs> it's just letting you know I can't back up. They're not the best Thank ones, you. No, but that's fine. I want, oh, that's what I was gonna do is I was gonna get a, some more of those little Kleenex things. You know, the little ones. Mm -hmm. I needed some more of those. Not that I would have found those in there, but all right. Okay, I can use the camera. <laughs> I have actually used the camera more than I thought I would. See, if I backed up right now, I would hit her. Now, I'm surprised it didn't tell you she was behind you. And I don't think I have that turned on. I don't know. I saw it <laughs> in the midst of me trying to find something else. Yeah. And then I couldn't get back to it. Because I think, I because it said, like, pedestrian sensor or pedestrian something. But that's the app. But it, it was, was on. on. <laughs> it says off, not says on. Oh, okay. look. It went away just then. Yeah, but the P. And then it came back. Okay. So, does it supposed to be so, off? I don't know. All right, we need somebody to walk behind us again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I have actually used the camera a lot more than I thought I would because I still look, but I, I I test myself. Like I'll look, I'll start backing up, and I'll look, and I'm like, hey, I can't see. There really isn't anything behind me. <laughs> I kind of use it more at work when I'm backing out of at work because I can see the the gate and stuff behind yeah. me, and I've gotten comfortable with knowing that I can back up, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I can see the gate. Like, I'm not backing into anything. But when I'm around cars, I tend to be a lot more like, oh, I better look on my own. <laughs> but I like it so much, Terry. It's funny, because I would have never guessed that I would have had this much car. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, and even though it's a 17, it still feels brand new to me. Like, well, I mean, I mean, it practically is Sheila. I mean, 15,000 miles on it, that's but, nothing. No, and a lot of times, I mean, that's like a lot of times even when you buy a new car, you're going to have a few hundred many, miles on it sometimes. How many times it's been tested, you know? Yeah. Well, it's like when I bought one of my cars, I had like 158 miles on it. And it was just from people test driving it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they probably driven the, my car a thousand times, you know. So, I mean, I, I'm very happy. And, of course, you know, when I was signing the papers, I was almost in a panic attack. Because I was like, oh my God, have I lost my mind. But then, once I did it, you know, because I was like... I'm going to have a car payment again. I haven't had a car payment in so long. But then it was like, you know what? I don't mind making it because it's something that excites me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'll be okay making that payment because... Whenever I get in this, I'm going to be like, you know what? It's mine. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I hadn't had that feeling in a long time because I hadn't, you know. And, of course, the fear of having it again from not having it. But now I'm kind of like, I'm good with that. But but also, now you also have the better feeling that when you get into this car, you don't have to wait. Is it going to get me where I need to go? Yes. Am I going to get there and then not be able to get back? What's it going to do to me this time? Yes, yes. And I know you were going through that. And, and I was. I mean, there were days I'd get in Betsy and she'd roar and I'd be like, oh, oh God, you know, don't let me down on the middle of the highway somewhere. But uh, we did end up fixing her. And James is driving her. Uh, the mechanic, he was like, I'll be, because we asked him, we were like, okay, do we, you know, is it worth fixing it? He goes, well, let me check the engine and stuff out. And he said, he called James back and he said, I'll be straight up honest with you, that engine is in great shape. He goes, the stuff that's going to break is because you, the car is 11 years old. 
you know I mean and some of the stuff it's only built to last a couple of years so yeah you've had repeat things happen like this the um, this happened before but he said you've had the car for 11 years like you know yeah. and he's like <clears throat> so I mean you know but as far as the engine he goes four-cylinder your engine is is in great shape it'll probably run another hundred thousand miles if you continue to do the maintenance he goes now obviously you need to keep your oil change and all that kind of stuff oh lord i forget they be doing all kinds of like you have to know how to drive through crazy lanes to be able to drive it over here um so we just kind of decided that um because where the heck am i going you go this way if you're going in there <clears throat> Parking or are you driving through? I'm gonna do a drive through. You want anything? Nah. You sure? Yeah. I'll treat. I can treat before I make the car payment. After I make that first car payment, please oh. pull all the way forward. Okay. I, look, after I make that first car payment, then <laughs> sorry, ma'am. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, then I'll have a. a little, I want a lemonade. A, you want a lemonade? Yeah, I'll have a lemonade and a, and a little French fry. A little, a little French fry. fry. How about we get a large fry? Okay. And do you want any nuggets? Do you eat their nuggets? I do eat their nuggets. Oh, where's my app? <laughs> On your phone. <laughs> On your phone. <laughs> Where did you leave your phone at home? It's setting in the living room because I started out the door. I set the phone down to run back and grab something. And... <laughs> was almost to your house when I went to reach for my phone to text you and say almost there and realized I didn't have my phone. Oh, funny. And of course I wasn't gonna drive back at that point. I was like, well, I'll just use Terry's phone and text James because he was like, well, I, I said, don't worry, I'll be back home by four o'clock. What time is it? 3.38. Oh, well. You'll be there very shortly after. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so now I gotta pay for it with my own cash because I have money on my app. <laughs> and then you get free stuff when you use your app. I have a peach today. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Pe oh, a peach milkshake. That almost sounds interesting. I don't want I a milkshake. Say they've got a peach ice lemonade. White, wait. Yeah. White peach. Tea, tea lemonade. lemonade. Want to try that? You can try it. Okay. <laughs> you you oh. know how I am. <laughs> you try it. I try it. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh, sorry, lady. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I am hungry. <laughs> and I left my cell phone at home so I don't have my app with me. I was like, oh. Well, I think so. I think we have this thing in the end of the receipt. Oh, I can go. I believe so. Okay. I'll check that out then. Okay. Thanks for at least filling me in on that. Can I get a name for the order? Sheila. Okay. So. What do you what do you want? Um, you want to do the? There's a 12 piece meal, and we can share. That's funny. Okay, can I have the 12 piece meal? Um, can I do a large fry on that? Yes. And then um, for the drink, can I have the um, uh, diet lemonade? Can I go to the drink to make that large? Yes, please. And then uh, on that peach lemonade one thing the that's over there. Yes. Does that come in a diet form or is that like? It's unsweet tea and then regular lemonade, but I think you can make it unsweet tea and diet. Could you do that? Right, because you need the diet. Yes, diet peach tea lemonade. Okay, and can you do that one a large as well? Yes. Perfect. Did I say everything? I think I did. Okay, and sauce your condiments? Yes, um, the honey mustard. Honey mustard, honey. Okay. Yes, and some ketchup. Okay, so it's a 12 cup meal, large fries, large diet lemonade, Perfect. Thank you. You have an awesome day. Thank you. She was sweet.
because see, I know he's gonna want to eat in Austin and then I'm gonna be hungry now because I haven't eaten since I ate my leftover from dinner last night. I'm still doing really good with my ve ve vegetarian eating. Oh, very good. My daughter thinks I'm going crazy. She right. tried to feed me twice. And you're not eating? No, I'm eating, but um, I've been wanting the nachos from um, the patio. Okay. Uh huh. Like we had the bean and cheese with the guacamole. And yeah. The onions and the jalapenos. We should go there one day. Yeah. Well. She wanted the works ones, which I said, okay, that's fine. Um, but she goes with chicken, and I said, no, I don't want chicken. <laughs> and I said, and, and I'll just pick the beef off because I was thinking that I didn't want any meat on it. Right, you just wanted the bean and the cheese and all that good stuff. And the guacamole and the onion and the jalapeno. Well, then when they set them down in front of me and they got the goddamn whip, the whipped cream, sour cream on them. Oh, okay. And yeah, that would be me. So I guess it's an order for Sheila, huh? <laughs> so we have a 12 pound of nuggets with a large fries so a large diet lemonade. And then we have a large diet peach tea lemonade for our honey mustard with four ketchups. Sounds good to me. All right, your total is 11 24. I don't have any money. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're like, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> that look on your face was priceless. <laughs> you have an awesome day. Thank you. <laughs> he was like, what do I do now? <laughs> so then I had to pick off the sour cream because it was on top of my guacamole. Oh. And the meat. I forget that when they put the beef on the on it, it's like that. It's the hamburger meat, like the. So it was all over the place. So it was you couldn't pick it up. Yeah, like it's like. And it's under the cheese. It's melted. The cheese oh. is melted away. So, so they were okay, but yeah, not what I was wanting. And then, uh, Chris went to dinner with them too, because she took me to lunch, and then I went to dinner. And we couldn't think of any place to go where you would be fairly sure to get served quickly because Amanda and Charles didn't get home till like 4 o'clock and Jacob had to be there at 6.30. Mm. So, you know, that's a very short frame, time frame to eat in and everything. And plus we had to wait for Aaron to get showered and which he could have done all day long, but he waits till the last minute beside he's going to go. Now, is, did he graduate too? No, he's no. next year. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe, if he passes school. We don't even know if he passed school this year yet. Really? But then, we, so we end up going to Chili's there in Converse. I'm not going to go there again. And I couldn't find anything to eat. Because most of what they have is if you don't get the ribs, it's chicken or a hamburger. Or a hamburger. Or and I didn't yeah. want a hamburger. And I didn't want chicken, so I ended up with ordering the margarita flatbread. And that was gross. <laughs> it was It was not. I, so. But. Like I said, my daughter kept looking at me like, well, why aren't you eating? What did you? Priscilla? That would be me. That's right. a large? Yes, ma'am. That's what everybody says. Yep, yeah, that's really funny. Why isn't it the same size as this large? I don't know. That's weird. It's not the same size large as your your drink large. Yeah. Now, these are the, this is all we have, small and large. How interesting. I just said how interesting. You would think it would be the same thing. Oh, no. I mean, it's, I don't get it. We had different kids. Right. Like, what would be the difference? Not a damn thing, because it's their lemonade and their yeah, iced tea. Yeah, I don't, so it doesn't make me. sense. Like, that is such a weird, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I love your, uh-oh, I just dropped my earrings down there. That is just the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I don't understand that, but that's okay. Thank you, you too.
Quite the cold. Are they cold? That doesn't make any sense to me. No. I mean, uh, why wouldn't they be served in the same cup? Okay, I tell you, you know, <laughs> things just never cease to amaze me. But, okay, whatever. We just learned something new. Why did this car come over and get in the lane behind me? Because I was going to get in that lane over there. But he was in that lane over there. So I turned to this lane and then he gets right behind me. I could have went on over there. Well, that's good. Is it good? Mmm. It is good, but it ain't worth a damn. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I'm right. like, it's just barely enough to get your taste buds warm. We're having a mook a mukbang. Know what that is? A what? A mukbang. Which is a big thing on YouTube. People eat on the camera. No, that doesn't sound nice. And they call it a, a mukbang, mukbang. I'm probably not saying exactly the right, it's a Chinese word. Mm. I think it's Chinese. I don't know if my taste buds are off, but those fries taste greasy. Yeah, they do. Okay, so it's not me? No. Cause that's one thing I've kind of noticed that since I've been eating like a lot of healthy stuff, when I go to eat anything that has like grease in it, I really taste the grease. You know what I mean? Like, mm. oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. mm, I love that nuggets. So not at the bicycle, you turn it the way we're trying. Fine. Okay. I'm double dipping. Hey, you're giving me your goodies. Yep. Uh -oh. James drive my car. Oh, I <laughs> In Austin. But I don't want to drive. I'm tired. But, I turn right here. Mm -hmm. Ah! I love 
that fast. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. I turn right, don't I? Mm -hmm. I don't come this way very often. Like I, I always turn that way when I come. <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute, where am I? But I always come right this way. But I turn, you know, way back there. Now I know where I'm. Why is your trunk open? Because my keys are in my pocket. Oh. <laughs> Did you do that before you left or after? Probably when I was getting in your car. They, sometimes my trunk pops open. Just for no reason at all. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I'm surprised one of my neighbors didn't walk over and shut it. Okay. Oh, Nelly. It's massive enough for the I know, right? Oh, I just want to love on her. <coughs> uh oh. Try Down the, the wrong part? The straw. Yeah. <coughs> okay. I need these for me. I you want to have some more? Because I'm going to be going to eat. More than one more. It fell off. <laughs> you didn't know who you were. That shit was you. So they're good kids, huh? Yeah, they're real good. I don't know if it's that one or the other one that mows the yard most of the time, too. Oh, really? Mm hmm I mean, it's like it's no, it's really no big deal. They get a big old right on the road like they Oh, really? Yeah. Take a lead here, edge along the driveway, so that patio. But then they go back and they blow. <laughs> and they're supposed to blow. What are you doing? Supposed to blow the grass off the patio. Mm-hmm. It's usually blown up. <clears throat> they blow it on the patio. Mm -hmm. Let me get my phone so you can tell James you're on mic. Yeah. I'll just get there. Thank you for dinner. <laughs> you're welcome. Eat some more because I'm going to go eat. So I don't want to get too full. Knock this stuff out. I just needed a snack. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have a hair somewhere. This is good. I like I like their nuggets so. That's about <clears throat> the only thing that I really get from there. Yeah, I don't like like their sandwiches and stuff because for one they don't put anything on them. They're so dry and the bread is. So and they're big. dry, yeah. And so I like I'll get their nuggets in their wedges. <clears throat> Gary likes their breakfast. That bowl that they have is pretty good. That I don't know something bowl. 
pretty good. I meant to ask for some extra tea sweetener because sometimes this isn't sweet enough for me. You got two nuggets left in here. Why don't you eat one? Or two of them. Because my stomach is about to revolt. Okay, well then don't revolt. Move him out of the way. Mmm. 